Yo YouTube, what is going on everybody? Welcome to today's video where we are here back on MC Hub Prisons. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely amazing day today. If you guys could not tell by the title today, I'm going to be showing you guys maybe the best way to make money on a prison server. Now, it, it might be on MC Hub, literally any prison server. This this concept actually applies. It's, it's pretty much universal. It's, I really recommend you guys make sure to pay attention and listen all the way through so you guys can absolutely succeed with this real quickly though before we jump into today's video guys i just want to let you guys know that i'm going to be giving away pretty much a uh, rank upgrade on the store if you guys want one of the monthly crates again this i'm pretty sure prisons on mc is resetting soon so if you want to wait till the next season to go ahead and get that that is totally okay but i'm gonna be giving away basically a rank upgrade or a monthly crate pretty much depending on the price range um so if you guys want to go ahead and enter that literally all you have to do is just leave a like down below subscribe to the youtube channel and then just comment your ign it's that simple those three steps and you will be entered into today's video giveaway without further ado ladies and gentlemen it is time for us to go ahead and explain to you guys how to make a lot of money in this instance a lot of e-tokens here on mc hub so we can upgrade our pickaxe and succeed very very well now on mc hub obviously if you take a look at my mine the first thing is going to your own mine is never the right idea okay literally if you grind at your own mine you're gonna fail it's not gonna work out okay this is just this just sadly doesn't work these days okay you would have to spend like i would literally in order for me to rank up to be able to compete with some of the top other mines here on the server it's just it's just impossible so immediately off the rip what you're going to do is actually use someone else's mine okay using someone else's mine is the most number one way to succeed and so if we go here to let's just say craybane's mine what i could do is if i come here and if i type the command use p shop and then i do craybane boom so now that we did that we can actually mine in craybane's mine and if you guys saw when i did slash p mine craybane is currently buying all these blocks um for a certain amount of money now the reason why they do this is because they can sell those blocks automatically for a lot more money but this is most of the money I, I would not make this much money like look at this we just made thirty four thousand e tokens in like two seconds there and prior to that i think we were making like 50. so i think you understand the difference we we're making a lot more e tokens at this mine right now i mean like substantially more e tokens at this mine we're making like fifty thousand e tokens every sale and that's just without anything proccing or anything so very first base basic concept is just use other people's minds or use like higher level minds if you if you can um i just recommend do not invest into your own mind it's a waste of money at the beginning i think later down the road it makes sense to invest into it but you need to get a very op starter pickaxe which i'm gonna explain how to do that now so obviously to upgrade your pickaxe it's expensive and you would need a lot of e tokens to go ahead and do that and even like me mining at someone else's mine right now it's not like before i even had these enchants on it i was making like eleven thousand e tokens sale now i'm making like close to fifty thousand. so i've obviously increased my pickaxe a ton but the number one question is is how do i keep on doing that i'm not really making that much e-tokens like right now we only have like 2.6 million i don't even know what that could do like jackhammer how many levels is that gonna get us right here that doesn't even give us five levels of jackhammer right now 2.6 mil so it, it, we clearly need to go ahead and get some more levels on it well what i recommend you guys do so they really basic and cool is selling things to players on the server and then using that money you get to go ahead and buy things to make you e-tokens so here on MC Hub, it's actually very, very simple. You can do slash vote. You can get basically six vote keys here on the server. And then once you have those vote keys, people on the server want to buy those vote keys. Now, you guys could go ahead and gamble by opening those vote keys, and maybe you'll get really, really lucky and get something good. But the likelihood of that is really small. And at the beginning, you don't, if, you, if you're trying to grind this, you don't want to like gamble. You just want to get secured e token, secure money. And so, all you can do is sell to an end shop here on the server. So, I've been selling to Hysteric. He is is buying e to or not e tokens vote keys for 1350 beacons which is very very good um so i went ahead and sold those you'll make like eight thousand. you could save up the beacons over time or you could be aggressive with it and buy pouches now obviously the way you buy pouches is in the ah it's in pouches right here and pretty much i bought these for like 2700 per um i think it was a good deal basically with the pouches you get a minimum of 19 million e tokens guaranteed and a maximum of 355 million guaranteed so i really like that range i personally do prefer the massive e token pouches you can make a lot more money with them and i think the base minimum is like 100 mil uh, but it's gonna be a little bit more expensive so that's something you kind of have to factor in and keep into consideration you might need to save up 
up your beacons over time. And so like you might have to suffer with a bad pickaxe for like a day or whatever. But you guys gotta get the general idea there. And so for example, I actually have these pouches right here. I just wanted to see, you know, I this is from one day of voting. This is like literally you could log in and do this right now. Literally anyone would be able to do this. If we right click this first one, let's just go ahead and see right here. Um, we're at 3.2 million E tokens. Let's see how much we're gonna get from this bad boy right here. 72 million. Okay, that was a really, really good token pouch right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was actually really good. And we just got a jackhammer proc right there. And our jackhammer procs 200,000 E tokens. But again, like one pouch got us 73 million E tokens. It would take us literally grinding for like an hour to maybe even make 70 mil. Like it would take a while. So doing this, it makes our lives so much easier. But let's go ahead and open this next one right here. We got 70 million right now. What's what, what's next? Okay, come on. Give me something decent. Oh, 265 million. What is my luck right now? I've never been this lucky on MC Hub before. Okay, I'm going to be honest, guys. Don't have these type of expectations uh, with your pouches on the first day. I've just made, what is that? 330 million E tokens off of like 5,000 beacons. That's like unheard of. That is ridiculous. This one is definitely going to be a very bad crate. No way that one's as good as the other ones that we've gotten. Let's go to see 163. Okay, that was one of the best beacon openings I've ever done with these large pouches. Oh my gosh. That is actually insane how many E tokens we got. We got 500 million E tokens right now and we spent like 7,700 beacons. Okay, that might be the best opening I've ever had. But hey, you know, that could happen. You might get really lucky in this instance. We did. We got 500 million E tokens to play with. I don't even know how long it would take with our current reef raker to get something like that. It would take a while. That's what I'm going to say. It looks like we also just got a lobster crate key right here and we could sell that for 700 beacons. I personally, I just like selling these. I don't like keeping them. I just try to sell things as much as possible. Uh, even these shiny treasures sometimes are worth selling. I'm just going to go ahead and actually continue opening this just because why not? We already have it. But wow. Oh, wow. I can't believe we did this. We have 500 million. And then what I would recommend you guys do, especially on a starter, um, really the basic enchants, like always make sure like fortune, like something or an enchant that like increases the amount of blocks you get while mining. Always make sure you max that out. We already did that really early. Now, there are three other enchants we have access to right now, which is Jackhammer, Explosive, and Double Time. And you'll notice I've only invested into Jackhammer. I think Explosive is a decent enchant. I just think Jackhammer, it has a higher chance to proc and you get bigger like proc rates, like the size of the radius of the jackhammer proccing is insane. I think if it's explosive proc that we would only be making like an extra 25,000 E tokens where when jackhammer procs, we're making like 200,000 more E tokens than we normally would. In double time, we really don't need because we don't have drills running right now. That'd be important if we had our own mine. But like I said, right now, our priority is not our own mine. Our priority is just making our base pickaxe as efficient and as OP as possible. So I'm running around right now. We're making like 38,000 E tokens pretty much every single time we mine right now or let's just say 50,000 let's just go ahead and say we're making 50,000 e tokens every time we sell that's a pretty solid amount and what we're going to go ahead and do is a little test right now um we're just going to go ahead and i'm just going to max out uh with the 500 million e tokens jackhammer right here which is kind of insane we're getting an additional 500 levels uh that's actually ridiculous and i'm just trying to max this out thing right here okay so now our jackhammer level is 1428 that is a ridiculously good level like with where we are in the game game we should not have this high level of jackhammer but doing everything i showed you guys is like the absolute meta strategy to go to do this we have a proc rate of 0.13 percent now this thing is gonna absolutely fry in this mine bro I, I am so excited for this we're gonna be able to make a ton of money with it now again realistically from the actual like amount of e tokens you make you're not going to make more every sale but from a jackhammer proc right here i want to see how much we make so let me just run around real quick we're going to see how much we make on a jackhammer i think we we're making like close to 200,000 e tokens previously so boom oh we got it right there and now we went from 200,000 e tokens when jackhammer procs to 500,000 and that's a massive massive difference we're getting an increased proc rate and we're selling for more that is huge and we just made our lives a lot easier now for when we keep on grinding like we are. So that is huge. I'm super happy with it. We were able to take a very, very basic pickaxe and make this thing absolutely ridiculous, bro. And it was definitely worth it. You guys see it's proccing a lot more already. I don't even know. We just made another 500,000 E tokens right there. Yeah, this thing is ridiculously OP. And like I said, we're making a ton from it. So yes, guys, that is pretty much really one of the best money making methods here on Minecraft prisons in general. This concept could really be applied to anything. You just kind of have to like look at the 
server and see what people want to buy from you and then how you can use that currency to buy things to upgrade your pickaxe it's pretty simple it's pretty basic but that's prisons that's why i love it it's a ton of fun but guys i think we are going to go ahead and wind off today's video here on mc hub prison so if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below guys i will see you all in the next video here on mc hub and until then bye bye